Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that a geometric progression has first term A, common ratio R, and sum to infinity 6. And a second geometric progression has first term 2A, common ratio R squared, and the sum to infinity is 7. And we've got to find the values of A and R for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. And did you get these answers? A is 12 sevenths and R is 5 sevenths. Well, if not, or you just want to see how I did it, I'll just run through the work solution. So what we need to be familiar with is the sum to infinity of a geometric progression. You can see many tutorials on this on my website, okay? So uh, if this is unfamiliar, just go on there. But the sum to infinity is given by the first term, A, all divided by 1 minus the common ratio, R. And this is only true if the common ratio is a value that lies between minus 1 and 1. So this is a result you should be familiar with. So we can apply it now in our question. If we look at the first series, we're told that it's got a first term A, common ratio R, and the sum to infinity is 6. So for the first series, okay, what we have got then is that A divided by 1 minus R must equal 6. And it follows from this that if we rearrange this, A would be equal to 6 multiplied by 1 minus r. Well, we're not going to get very far with this because we've got two unknowns in the one equation. So we need another equation. So I'll call this equation 1. And we get our other equation by looking at the second series. And in this one, we've got a geometric progression. This time it has a first term of 2a and a common ratio of r squared and the sum to infinity is 7. So if we apply that to this formula here, we've got the first term, which is 2a, divided by 1 minus the common ratio. The common ratio is r squared and this will come to 7. And again, if we multiply both sides of the equation now with 1 minus r squared, we get 2a then equals 7 times 1 minus r squared. And we can call this equation 2. So we just need to solve our simultaneous equations. And uh, there's many ways that we could do this. We could substitute this result into equation 2. If you want to do that, I'll leave it up to you. But the method I'm going to use is to take equation 2 and divide it by equation 1. And so what does this give us? Okay. Well, we're going to have 2a divided by a. Okay, 2a divided by a. And this is going to equal 7 times 1 minus r squared. And that's going to be divided by 6 times 1 minus r. Now, the reason for dividing was that I could see that those a's were going to cancel one another out. Now, I could multiply both sides by 6 times 1 minus r. And that would lead into a quadratic equation, which I'd have to solve. But for this example, I can see that 1 minus r squared factorizes. It's the difference of two squares. And I'm going to pick up on that because I feel it's going to be a lot easier to work with. So 1 minus r squared is exactly the same as 1 plus r multiplied by 1 minus r. The difference of two squares then. And this is all over 6 multiplied by 1 minus r. And the point about doing that is because I can see that this common factor of 1 minus r can cancel out. 
so we don't get involved with a quadratic equation to solve. So all I need to do is multiply both sides by 6, so 2 times 6 is 12, and expand this bracket here, 7 times 1 plus r, which is going to give us 7 plus 7r. So from this, I can see that if I subtract 7 from both sides, I'm left with 7r equals 12 take away 7, which is 5. And from this, if I divide both sides by 7, r equals 5 sevenths. OK, now that I've got r, I can just take this value and I'm going to substitute it into any of my equations, 1 or 2, but I think it makes sense to substitute it into 1 in this example because it gives us a directly. So if we substitute that into equation 1, we get that therefore a equals 6 times 1 minus the common ratio, which is 5 sevenths. So 1 minus 5 sevenths is 2 sevenths, times it with the 6, and you're going to get 12 sevenths. OK? And so, just in summary, let's just come down here. Our results then, we've got, therefore, A equals 12 sevenths, and the common ratio, OK, and R equals 5 sevenths. All right?